Hello there, wonderful people. Another month means another set of updates. And I got quite some fun ones for you today. I have one that allows you to play Project Rebirth in the way that you like, and one that starts off a little competition between players already. First off, there were some small things that annoyed me still in the previous version. For example, the tiles that were generated did not always line up nicely when you were zoomed in really close. Those were relatively easy to fix, and now when everything is loaded, you don't even notice the tiling anymore. Also something I didn't notice at first, but when you load the page for the first time, it takes a really long time for all the assets to load in. I never noticed that before, but it should be a lot smoother now as well. Some assets would load in multiple times, so I made it that each asset only had to be loaded once, and that it could be reused after that. Another UI improvement that was suggested in the Discord server was to have your numerical keys on your keyboard correspond to the different menus in the game. I thought it was a great idea, that way you can very quickly switch from the observer's view into the builder's menu, political menu, or any other of the future overlays that will be added to the game. One aspect that is crucial for a game where you play with many people on the same planet is to be able to discover other players and see how they are ranking and what they are building. So the first step for that is to build a ranking panel. Here you can see how different players rank based on different attributes, which player has the largest population or who has the most resources in his inventory, all of that you can find on this ranking page. You can then also easily fly to that person to see the little society that person is building. Also when you go to the political panel of that player, you get a view of how that player ranks in the different categories. This panel will still be filled with even more relevant information of the player as new features are added over time. And then the second big new feature this month was the addition of the decision panel. I really wanted a way for each player to be able to play the game in their style. Whether they want to build their own utopia, a majestic trading hub, or a hyper-optimized production machine. The decision panel will allow you to choose certain trade-offs for certain benefits. For example, enacting worker safety will reduce the chance of an accident happening and increases the happiness of your people, but will reduce the production output of various buildings. Some of these choices you can make from the start, others you will need to research first. This way I hope to see a lot of variety in the way people will choose to play the game. What would your playstyle be? I'd love to read about it in the comments. One more little thing is that I forgot I already had assets for grain fields. They still look a little bit off to me, I'll have to work on it a bit more, but it can already be seen in the game. These fields won't give you food immediately, but you will be able to process the grain into other goods, such as beer or flour, to eventually make food still. Developing these more complex production chains is what I plan to do in the next month, together with some new exciting assets that are on its way, and some fun visual improvements. If you would like to be the first to know of these updates, monthly supporters have access to a dedicated Discord channel with all of the latest progress and discussions. Long term supporters even after a few months get access to the latest build as well. So check that out if it sounds like something you would like. As always I love to hear all of your feedback, feel free to share your thoughts on Discord, make sure to subscribe to hear about the development and check out the links in the description for more ways to stay up to date. Until next time. Are you still here? Do you want a fun fact? Did you know there are male and female pine cones? The ones you see most of the time are the female ones that, that have the seeds. But actually on the trees you can see smaller ones too. Those are the male pine cones. Okay, bye.